Dr. Garth Taylor. Dr. Garth Taylor is known as the Flying Eye Doctor. He is a volunteer surgeon and the medical director of the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital. Having flown on over 103 Orbis missions and having performed over 3,000 eye surgeries to treat blindness, he is the most traveled eye surgeon with perhaps the most impact across international borders. My interest um, is ophthalmology. You know, my, um, my, my relaxation is ophthalmology. Born in Montego Bay, Jamaica on April 29, 1944, he knew by the age of seven that he wanted to become a doctor. The young Taylor was determined to be just like his mentor, his godfather, Dr. Herbert Morrison. You know, one of the things that he did for me was to, uh, telling me how privileged, you know, I, I am to, to have the, the, the knowledge and the ambition to want to do medicine. And, um, and um, I should not abuse it. And um, he would take me around and say, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing for the people. They don't have to have money, you know, in order for, um, for you to treat them. You're here to um, alleviate, um, you know, sickness and make people happy. During his childhood, many experiences served to solidify his resolve to go into medicine. He attended St. James Boys Primary and at the age of 10 entered Cornwall College focusing on the sciences. He was told he could not become a doctor by his headmaster, but this did not deter him from fulfilling his dream. On completing secondary school in 1963, he worked as an operations clerk at Pan American Airways. He left the following year when he was accepted by the University of the West Indies, Mona, to study medicine. However, he did not gain a scholarship, so instead took up a Canadian scholarship to study biochemistry in Ottawa. Still haunted by his dream, he eventually returned home and with renewed determination, he applied for a scholarship and to his delight and surprise, he succeeded. Taylor came to Trinidad in his final year of medicine to work at the Port of Spain General Hospital and it was there that he met Dr. Nolly Butler and Professor Courtney Bartholomew. Uh, these uh, two people in particular were there for me and um, really made life um, easier for me and the exam was, um, was not a burden when I went to write the final exams. Adamant about deciding on an area of speciality, he left Jamaica to attend the Civic Hospital of Ottawa and the Queen's University, Kingston, Ontario, to study ophthalmology. He passed the prestigious Royal College examination in ophthalmology in 1976. In 1977, he was awarded a fellowship in corneal surgery and external diseases at the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute in Miami. He returned to Canada to set up his private practice in Cornwall and also worked at the Cornwall General Hospital for 24 years before becoming the Chief of Staff. Currently, he holds the title of Chief of Ophthalmology and is an Associate Professor at Queen's University, Ontario. Apart from his charitable work with Orbis treating patients, training doctors in host countries and setting up eye banks, Dr. Taylor also is the co-founder and director of another non-profit organization, CANSI, the Canadian Surgical Eye Expeditions. This organization, um, we go to different countries and we do surgery, we do volume surgery. And we find that there was such a need uh, for, for this uh, type of um, service. Mm -hmm. So myself and um, in fact Dr. Mahabir from San Fernando, um, very good friend, like a brother to me, and he and I would go to these countries and do, we'll do in a week 160 to 180 operations. We just go, you know, to the, um, from table to table and do all this work. When Dr. Taylor is not performing operations all over the world, he enjoys baking Jamaican fruitcakes for friends and family, and he enjoys re-establishing links to Jamaica by playing dominoes, listening to the music, and most importantly, indulging in the best cuisine. I think if I were to interact with um, a youngster um, who is not sure, most of, most of the time they're not sure what they want to do, I would say to them, um, Find yourself somebody that you like. Find yourself somebody that you interact with, somebody that you can, um, you can relate with, somebody that you trust. Talk with them, uh, interact with them, listen to them, and try to pick the good things out of their, their lives and, and to mold your life and, 
And I think the most important thing is do something with your life, make something of your life, and be happy doing what you're doing. And don't do it because you're trying to please anybody else. Try to please yourself because the peace of mind and contentment has to come from you.